Fans tell us that she always stayed in contact with them on a regular basis. So not hearing from her for almost a week has been agonizing. Her brother says as soon as he heard she was missing, she wasted no time digging up information trying to find her. Um, constantly on on computer, constantly talking to my friends and in the neighborhood and all her friends and just trying to um, get as much information as possible to find my sister. Detectives say details are still minimal in this investigation right now. Again, they don't know where Leticia is, but detectives say they did find a car connected to her disappearance and are reviewing evidence found inside. Tonight on Fox 13, we'll hear much more about the investigation. We'll also hear from her brother and a close friend and their tireless efforts to find her. Reporting live in Seattle, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News. Frankie, thank you. There are also reports that Leticia's adult disabled son was attacked within hours of her disappearance. This information is coming to us from the Fox News Digital Desk in New York, citing family sources. Those sources say the son, who has a form of autism, says a man woke him up in the middle of the night, saying his mom had been hurt and he would take him to the hospital to see her. After driving around, the son says the man attacked him in the back seat. The family says the son fought him off and then contacted police, but they say he was unable to say if it was the same man pictured with his mom at the Mariners game before she disappeared.